I am Anil Kumar. We are learning permutation and combination. In these set of videos, I have taken up examples from playing cards, especially when you have 52 playing cards in a deck. And we'll consider a few examples so that you become conversant with how to solve such questions when playing cards are involved. So here's the very first one. The question is, determine the number of ways in which five cards can be selected out of a deck of 52 playing cards. Now we need to select five cards out of a deck of 52 playing cards. Normally playing cards will have 52 in a deck and in the game of poker we normally work with or play with five cards. So that is why we have taken up this example. It is important to note that when you select a combination of five cards then their order does not really matter right so therefore this is an example of combination not permutation right so basically what are we trying to do out of 52 cards we're trying to select a group of five cards that means a combination of five cards so the answer is from 52 cards the combination of five cards is being selected. 52 C5 is your answer, right? Now, how to calculate 52 C5? There are a number of ways to do it. First, uh, we can apply the formula NCR is equals to N factorial divided by R factorial times N minus R factorial, right? So, let's apply this formula and calculate. So what we have here is 52 factorial divided by 5 factorial times 52 minus 5 factorial. That is to say, it is 52 factorial divided by 5 factorial and 52 minus 5 is 47, 47 factorial. Now at this stage, you can use the calculator and find the answer. So that is one way of doing it. You will also write this term as 52 factorial divided by 47 factorial could be written as 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48. And then 47 factorial cancels all divided by 5 factorial which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Use calculator to calculate this answer, right? So these are the ways in which you could calculate. The other option here is that you could use uh, directly a 52 combination 5 on some scientific calculators. Let me show you that. So what we have here is we have 52 and then we have a function key for NCR. So that is NCR for us, right? I hope you can see this. So that is NCR. And now we not we don't want to find 5. So 52C5 is equal to, we get our result as 2598960. 2598960, right? So that becomes direct way of calculating. We'll normally prefer to use this method since it takes less time and it is not prone to many calculation errors. Now, let's try to do all other ways also and check what answer do we get. So, now let me use the factorial method that is 52 factorial. So we have 52 and for factorial, that is the key, 52 factorial divided by Put everything in the bracket, whichever is in the denominator. 5 factorial times 47 factorial, bracket close, equal to. So we get 2598960, right? So we get 2598960. So exactly the same answer. So you could use any of these methods to calculate. 
you can also multiply and divide as shown here. So I hope with this the concept is clear that in this given example when we take a group of five cards the order does not matter and therefore it is a case of combination not permutation. Since we are trying to find ways of selecting five cards out of 52 the answer is 52 C5 right and that could be calculated directly or using the factorial as shown in the video. So let's move on and see some more examples on playing cards. Thank you and all the best.